All right, so I have more stuff here for the Integra. You guys already saw that I got the the K Tune Slay Cylinder, and then the K Tune Clutch Line came in already, and I also have K Tune Upper Control Arms for the front. So today for this video, I'll be doing these two things to keep the video relatively short, and then after that, I'll film for the upper control arms. Post it probably the next day as well. But I'm gonna be installing all this today. So we gotta start off. I'm gonna get all my tools ready and we'll get started. All right, so I have all my tools out now. I think all I'm gonna need is um, a 10. So I got 10, let's test it out. Yeah, it's gonna be a 10. Yep, that's good. So it's a 10 for this line right here. And it goes all the way to right here. As you can see right here. Take it off from there as well and then just be careful with the, with the clutch fluid because it could take off your paint. So just get like a little rag. I have one over there. <clears throat> so I'll start doing that. And then this should be plug and play. This, you're gonna have to put one of these fittings to the master cylinder. So we'll see which one it is once we get to that. So let me start getting into this. Okay, so here's the old versus new. I put it up to right there. I'm not exactly sure where it's supposed to go, but that's how I put it because it seems similar to this one. So that's how I'm keeping it. I'm uh, not put it on yet. Or actually, I could probably put it on, but I want to deal with the lines first because I have to take it off from that bracket right there, from that one right there, just chase it down to wherever it goes. Hopefully, it's not too hard because I have everything back on already. So, if I run into any troubles or anything, I'll let you know how I do lines. Okay, I'm doing a little extra before it gets a little harder. So, what I've done so far is I just use the two tens that go to that bracket right here take those two tens off took these two tens off that go here there's one more turn here kind of hard to see in the video right now but there's another turn right there i took off the battery took off the battery tray and then there's like some clip thing right here i couldn't figure out if there was a turn or not, so i just yanked it and something broke so there's somewhere just flew off but now this is free I mean for me it doesn't matter too much because I'm not gonna go back to hard lines now that I'm gonna have that upgraded line and now after this I don't see I, well I can't see anything I can't see what's next so I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna try and take off this line right here and see if that'll do it oh no there's still more clips i could see right there so uh we'll see how i do it right now okay so i'm gonna do a little update right now because it got really hot so i'm just trying to take off the clutch lines and then i'll continue with putting on the rest of the stuff later on once it cools down and the sun is going down but this little bracket right here uh, I took it off. I had to remove this to like move the other line out of the way so because it was sitting right here Maybe you have some better luck than me, but I just the other end of the clutch line that goes um, That connects to the other end of this right here. So there's another one that goes over here. I Just uh, unscrewed it with a 10 just from right here, but in the other side So I could take off this half and then the other half from the other side I want to do this real quick and then just come back once the sun is going down. All right, I finally got all the lines out. Shit was not fun at all. And um, I made a mess. You could see right, somewhere down there. But it's just, you won't see it, so it doesn't matter. But I don't know. I just, I don't even know how I took them out. I just used force at the end. I don't really care. I was, I was kind of careful, but I just wanted to get them out. So now let's get on to the, the new ones and uh, go from there. All right, so this is the closest I found from the three of those. So I'm gonna use this one and I'll put some tape on it too. So uh, 
to this end and then this goes into the master and then this goes to um, to this side and you're gonna use the the 90 onto here for the master and then the and the other side to the to the slice cylinder and let me get all that done and then I'll show you how it is once it's done okay so here it is you can see the line right there I have it rounded you can see it going I have it under like behind the other lines just kind of have it going like how if it was stuck and then right there only problem I found is this bottom one's kind of loose even though I tried tightening it but I'm gonna try to um, bleed the clutch now and see hopefully it's good